Brent with Professional Discount Supply. We're here to go over the uh, installation of soil gas on an actual job site. Um, so here's the mat material. This comes in 45 foot rolls, uh, low profile mat. So it's one inch thick uh, by 12 inches wide. It can, it's called soil gas collector mat for a reason. It goes directly on the soil or the concrete directly over the top. So here on this site, this is run around the entire perimeter of the site. Uh, landscape staples are thrown in every couple feet to keep it down. And then any sort of barrier or anything else will go on top of the mat. So you want it as close to the soil aggregate as possible. Just because it's called soil gas mat doesn't mean it wouldn't work on aggregate. Uh, the big benefit here is you don't need the trench. Um, you don't need uh, aggregate, but it's not going to hurt it. And you don't need barrier. On this side, we happen to have a barrier. Um, these T-risers are placed about every 2,000 feet. You insert the mat into the T-riser and duct tape the seams just to ensure that nothing will get jostled loose on an active site like this. But guys can walk over the mat. You can run wheelbarrows over the mat. It's totally safe. Um, so here you can see mat material runs along the entire perimeter of the building. As close to the soil as possible. Um, and it runs all the way around the perimeter. And then there's about three T-risers for this building. Uh, three or four, I believe. It's uh, close to 8,000 square feet. Uh, so really, it's as simple as that. Once you place the T-riser down, uh, if you don't stub up a few feet of pipe on the T-riser, what you would do is you'd cover this in duct tape. That way, um, when they pour, there's no chance of getting concrete aggregate in here. Once uh, once the pour is complete and the concrete slab is cured, you cut the duct tape insert four inch thick 40 pipe. You could also cut the pipe here, cut the T riser fitting to allow for six inch schedule 40. Uh, this entire job took uh, one guy less than half a day. All right, here you can see the T-Riser. It's secured with the T-Riser nail. Now uh, this particular T-Riser only has a uh, slow gas mat on one end, although you can have it entering from both sides. And then the radon reduction system is clearly labeled. Uh, and this is great, uh, especially on active sites like this, so other contractors know uh, it's not a piece of plumbing. This is for radon exhaust. Uh, perfect insulation here. You may ask about junctions. T-riser junction or any uh, any 90, 45 degree junction, whatever it is, you would cut this felt paper back, remove a piece of the soil gas mat material, the plastic material, um, so that you could lay it back down and interlock them like puzzle pieces. Then you would put the felt material back over the top, duct tape the seam so ag no aggregate gets in, and voila, you've made a junction. So that's at every single corner here. Uh, they're buried below the barrier at this point or else I'd show it to you. 